Bloody hell! Can you help me? Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What of the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana, what are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. William Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell lumbering will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game and timber? Don't know. Don't much care neither. Beat skulking around these wood. Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I... Spare me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here.
Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. the amount.
sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act. And I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I... Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in turns. It's in turns, or not at all. Hey! It's my home, no matter what you thieves call taxmen say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now. Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bollocks! We're coming in! Ah! Oh. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. How's your neighbor damaged your... Is that all you have? Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else.
Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate.
Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! On me le payer, ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Oh! Regardez! Some pathetic red coats waiting for a beating! I will match your face to your jacket, Cathy! Coquins me prennent mon père au Canada et voilà qu'il me ravisse ma propriété ici. Il suffit. English. We are not the king's men. We are free. But the king sends these red coats to push us around. They are not our master. This is our city. Let's show them who owns it. It's time to fight. Stefan, please stop and listen to me. I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things. I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. I will match your face to your jacket, crapule! Destroyed? You stupid mongrel! I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense! Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who! And if you can't, I'll gut you! and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window.
Oh, bloody hell are you! Why? You have no right to rub people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And he's suffering cleanly. Please. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. The English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance. For what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams.